Hey everybody, Jordy at Carving Fusion here. So I wanted to take a minute and talk about these little bits that I've been using actually quite a bit. These are cheap bits. Uh, they come from China. They're, you see there, there's a name for them, but I don't care. I call them the three-point cutters. So there's three, one, two, three. These bits are pretty cheap. Like you get, um, I think you get sets of five for like 10 bucks there in my Amazon store. I'm not trying to get you guys to buy them, okay? I'm going to leave a link below it's so it's easy for you guys to get them in America. You know, if you bought the, if you bought one of these sets on my Amazon store, I'd probably make 1.5 cents. Anyways, just letting you guys know I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing it for you. So these burrs, you know, they're super awesome and they cut through wood awesome. But the only problem with them is they're not, they don't stay sharp long. And you guys have seen me use them on lots of my videos. I'm even carving real eyes. With these burrs, well, as real as I can make them look with these burrs. My good buddy Just Carve Rob over there, Just Carve Rob Shaw, told me how to make these burrs stay sharp. And he showed me. So I'm going to show you guys what I do. I get a torch, I heat them up hot with any, everybody, if you're not familiar with torches and fire and stuff like that and heating steel, just be very careful. Do it outdoors in a place where it won't catch your house on fire or your curving area on fire but you get some oil i used cardoil oil you just it's just like forged in fire you heat it up really hot and then you dip it in the oil so i'm going to show you guys quickly but don't do it because i say you should do it because i don't want you catching your house on on my on my t my uh, word so anyways this is just a suggestion so here it is So here's the burrs. Here's a burnt one. It's black now. I try not to burn the shank. Some of you, some of you are going to be like, oh, no, you should have done this to the shank so it didn't heat up. Well, I don't care what you say. I did it the way I wanted to do it. Um, this piece of wood here is you wood. I've used these burrs. I like, look at them all in here. I buy so many of them because I make them dull so fast. And I know you can get your little sanding drum and you can sharpen them and you can get stone and sharpen them. But I'm not that guy. I'm too lazy. Or I just, it just doesn't motivate me to sharpen them. But these ones, these black ones now have been, uh, it's called pressure treating the steel or something. I don't know. But it's supposed to make them sh uh, stay sharp longer. So I know how long these things stay sharp for. So I got this piece of Pacific U wood here. I'm not going to start curving the front of this because. I'm going to carve deep, and I'm going to carve a lot. And I want to use this front one day for a carving because it's got the white in there. But this old ugly part here, it's still very hard wood, very dense wood. This this tree right here, this branch is probably like, I'd say, a good 100 years old. You can't even see the grain in there. Well, you can, but you can't, but you can't, but you can. So anyways, I'm going to fire up the Dremel full speed, put one of these. I'm going to, the biggest burrs seem like they wear out the fastest. So I'm going to put this big sucker in and just curve till I think um, it's going to stay sharp or if it's dull. Okay, so I got the new bit in here. I'm um, sorry, everybody. I, do, I just got so much stuff on my mind. So much stuff is happening. I use a uh, propane torch to heat these up. You heat them up red. You try not to heat the shaft, obviously, right? Because the shaft will get too hot. When you heat it, it makes the steel stronger, right? And, you, and I dip it in the... Um, Corn oil, oil, if I didn't say that, but let me get turn the fan on. I'm going to start carving heavy with this. Uh, you wouldn't see how sharp this. This, uh, these burrs are more like I'm um, carving with Electra uh, chisels, they're carving with chisels, but you got power. Oops, got to turn my drum a lot. And these birds, you definitely don't want to get hit by them. I, I remember like a couple weeks ago, it hit me on the nail right here. 
It's just growing back in right now, but it went, it just took the whole nail off right away. So anyway, you guys can see the damage that it did to this year wood. When I'm carving, this thing wants to bounce back this way, bounce back this way, right? So I got my hand, boom, it will slide right off. Because if I go like this, it will hit my hand. So anyways, there you can see how much it's done in the wood. And it's still like, if I didn't heat treat it, this would already be dull. Carving this hard rock, uh, you would like this. <laughs> So yeah, it's uh, super helped. Uh, thanks for the tip, Just Carve Rob. So now you guys know how to make these burrs uh, last a lot longer. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you soon. Grand Pearson. Over and out.